I'm going to show you how I incorporated virtual reality hand drawing into my school studio practice. So last semester I was looking to create a complex shape between these two towers, a large atrium that would bring in sunlight and also act as a communal space. I brought a simplified version of the building into a piece of software called Graffiti 3D. I have to say I was extremely lucky that the developer for Graffiti 3D added the ability to import and export geometry based on my architectural requirements, so I'm extremely grateful for that. Um, I highly encourage you to get your hands on an Oculus Rift and Elite Motion to try out this software. A big part of the video is the raw virtual reality editing process. I wanted to show you the process so that people realize two things. First off, it's not as glorious as the interfaces seen is in movies such as Iron Man and Minority Report. But secondly, it's also possible to achieve this real Revit workflow right now. So you can actually do this in an architectural firm. Sure, you need to be a bit stubborn and nerdy, but it is achievable under $600, so I would encourage architectural firms to investigate this further. Maybe you can start thinking of a virtual reality room in your office. Uh, as you can see, it's not really something that can be achieved in a cubicle situation. You do need a bit more room to move around. So let's talk about what's happening on the screen. In the top left, you can see my point of view in the virtual world. The model's been simplified and imported inside the environment. Drawings achieved by joining the thumb to the index, a big part of the process is actually getting a feel for the spatiality of the building. I usually move around the site for a few minutes to get an understanding of it from a physical point of view before making a design move. I've used this VR massing solution on 8 different sites in Ottawa and made 18 different conceptual models this way. It's incredibly freeing compared to the traditional computer modeling methods. It's a lot faster than physical models, and the scale is always accurate. There's a lot of improvements that would be required for this to become a normal workflow in offices and architectural schools, but it's quite doable with current technology. Of course, at this point, we're waiting for the HTC Vive and the Oculus Touch to make this process even smoother in terms of 3D drawings. But I'd like to ask companies like Autodesk, Google, Microsoft, Magic Leap, and Graphisoft to consider the specific needs of architects when it comes to virtual reality and augmented reality applications. All right, so we're pretty much done at this point. You'll notice that the design addition from virtual reality has been drawn in a rib-like manner. This makes it easier to formalize the shape once we bring it back into Revit. Once the shape's finalized, it's exported, simplified, rescaled, and realigned with the original building. From there, we can create a Revit mass, divide the mass, and rationalize the parts into window openings and panels. In the end, we get a conceptual mass transformed into livable architectural space. The sunlight is scooped in, and we have our central communal node that both separates and unifies the towers. One of the biggest problems I've found with this workflow is that sometimes you need to use the keyboard to undo mistakes or bring in geometry, uh, just basically fix mistakes that you're doing in virtual reality. This gets really annoying. One of the, the main reasons is uh, if you accidentally press spacebar, it erases everything. So I've integrated the use of voice attack and Windows 10 voice training. This allows me to use my voice for commands instead of using the keyboard, and it makes the whole process a lot smoother. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below. And most importantly, start bothering your bosses or start making room in your office. So I'd love to see more of this kind of workflow happening in architecture. Don't be afraid of it. Just kind of dig in there, jump in, and have fun.